Hey guys, happy Saturday. So on this Saturday, what will happen is that you guys I have every three minutes for five rounds, you guys will go into five sumo deadlifts. Once you guys complete those five sumo deadlifts, you'll go directly into a wide stance banded good morning. You guys will have 10 repetitions of those and then you guys will just simply rest the remainder of the minute. So ideally, um, you should start somewhere in the medium to heavy range, and then you really should go for a heavy set of five. Again, always as long as form is optimized, all right? So a couple things to consider when we do this sumo. When we do this sumo, I just simply like to think Jap Japanese wrestling. Um, one day I'll get the belly, but today is not the day, all right? But what I will adopt is the feet is outside the shoulders, the hips are down, the chest is tall, the hands are inside the hips. So whenever we kind of stand up with the barbell, we just want to push our feet into the floor. So we want to push the ground away. We want to avoid trying to pull the barbell off the ground. So we don't want to pull the barbell up. We just want to push the ground down with our feet. So our legs is going to be the primary driver of this movement. All right. So again, with feet outside the shoulders, hands inside the hips, I'm going to adopt this stance nice and wide stand up all right i want to go five of those and then once i get done with that i'll grab this band hopefully i didn't choose a band that's too thick and then i'll go here kind of go wide as i can create some tension there and then just go into a good morning control down explode up Once you get to 10, you'll rest the remainder of that minute or those three minutes. And you guys will rinse and repeat that four more times. Again, every three minutes for five rounds, five sumo deadlifts, 10 banding good mornings, control down, explode out of it, have fun, go get it. Hey guys, happy Saturday again. This is your conditioning piece and it's a partner workout. So with this partner workout, we wanna start with 40 calories on the bike and the 40 calories can be split up anyway. Also, this workout can be partitioned any way you guys want to. Ideally, you're working with two pairs, so like the equal load, make sure, or the equal share, and making sure everybody does their part are probably be the most adaptive strategy. But if you're stronger at one movement, um, and then you're, the partners are stronger at another movement, feel free to play to each other's strengths, all right? So it'll be 40 calories on the bike, Again, go hard, go after it. Once you guys get done with that, you guys will have 100 dumbbell snatches. So the snatch is one move with the dumbbell from the ground to over your head, right? You guys do have to, you guys do have to alternate in between sides. And um, yeah, so 100, again, is 100 total. So again, I, in an ideal world, I do 50 snatches. My partner would have done 50 snatches, all right? So uh, the snatch, ground to overhead with no interruption, so it'll look like this. The switch can happen any way you want. Right, but one move, ground to overhead. Once you guys get done with that, you'll do another 40 calories on the bike, all right? The 40 calories on the bike, again, split equally. And then you guys have 50 chest to bar pull-ups, all right? So the chest of our pull-ups, anything below the collarbone is kind of what we're after. So what'll happen here is that we'll swing. Again, the 50 is split up between you and your partner. So however you guys want to do that, that's how you guys want to do that. Fifty of those. If that move's not available, chin up chin over the bar pull-ups is available. If that move's not available, any banded option will be available. And if the banded option's not available, then we can always start with our ring rows, okay? So that'll be it. Then it'll be another 40 calories on the bike, and then we'll end with 10 rope climbs. And so the rope climb, a couple available options for that, right? Is that you guys can just climb up as high as possible. You guys can go a rope lower if you want to. So just lower the rope. So those are available options. 
and then um, just kind of scaling the rope. So whenever we scale the rope, what we want to think about is using our legs a lot more than our arms. A lot of people use their arms and um, by the end of this workout, most likely your arms are going to be blown up. All right. So whenever we create this bite, um, I like to adopt what we call a quick J hook. Um, so from here, I take my bottom foot around and then I kind of lock, lock the rope on my foot and then I kind of stand up and kind of do that, right? And so if we kind of get tall and our first order of business, keep our arms long, lean back and establish our bite. From here, as we stand up, we're almost to the top, right? And I can hang out here and I'm nice and secure forever. So what happens now is I lean back again, come here, and to get down is kind of the tricky part. I like to coach down is that you just kind of come down the way that you got up here. So what I wanna do first is get nice and small, hands close, come down, and then now, from there, I can just simply find the floor and let go. All right, so again, on my descent, my first order of business is getting my hands closer to my feet, create that ball again, and then simply get long, and I should be by the floor. And you guys see I did that, and essentially one and a half, two pulls, and I didn't jump, and I'm talking, still in pretty much control. So that's how you guys do that, those rope climbs, and then you guys would be done. All right. Um, have fun. Go get it, guys. <laughs>